So Kuroki's on the three Mars. We see Iron Man is going to be picking up the less track. A little bit of extra bonus movement speed that you have at level one. Top lane, Defo. Might be in trouble here. we has got that burst potential with the other shock and Nigma will successfully be able to pick up first blood. Meanwhile, Miracle, quick phase shift dodge from Carl. To secure some of these uh, creeps, especially the range creep, without taking a lot of harass, kind of like he is now, unless he's got the mana to just be able to use the raise for that potential. And Top lane. So a little bit of limited amount of mana. <laughs> Denied by the neutral creep. Forces out a lot of region. Meanwhile, bot as well. There's some action. Oh. Kyoki oh. is going to end up falling to 23. This is nice, though. They've got, again, white monster tipping through. They refuel the bottle. You've got three heroes mid now. You can look to dive Miracle. Dio. Reinforcements are coming. Miracle. Coil. Can he tank all the damage at the moment? Coil is going to get dropped at the last second. Miracle protected with the shield. going to try and look to turn, but the silence prevents the raises. Carl is able to keep his life for a short while as we... Yeah, the shock's up in a couple seconds, but it'll be a couple seconds too long. Zephyr's still with the wraparound cut. White Mon, out of all heroes, finds a double kill at the mid lane. We still know that Miracle is, is solo at the moment. So Carl has got to haste in the bottle, three charges, and they're going to dive in once again. And this is the issue about the Shadow Fiend. So reliant on not getting ganked, but Carl, nice dodge. Sidesteps the raise as well, thanks to the haste. Another round of the abilities are going to be back up, but Miracle's able to man fight. Unfortunately, the raise is now on cooldown. Enables Carl. Magic wand. Does he want to go for an extra dive? <laughs> nice dodge, man. Carl is playing with fire, but it's working out here for the Rubik. I thought previously when they attempted that dive onto Perev, that was absolutely the correct play coming through from Nigma because they just saw that the, uh, the Zephyr TP to the mid lane meant that he had no way of tipping into save. But, uh, I mean, look what it's resulted in. A lot more attention on the mid lane, and you're even getting kills on the top side. Nice rolling thunder from Ferev. Even gets the clip at the last second on the Coddle. And RMN's going to move in forward, but T1 all over this game at the moment with 11 kills. We're already seeing a 15 kill count eight minutes into the game. We were highlighting that Southeast Asia fast-paced action combined up with Europe as mid lane. Carl forcing some rotations. Nice jaunt away to the northern side, though. Carl still got to be careful. Uh, I guess it's okay, right? Like, you've got Ferev playing alongside him. He's got the Javelin. Whether he builds that into a Maelstrom or not, who knows? But it's going to allow for a lot of burst damage, that's for sure. <laughs> See, Weeha was hoping for the Shadow Fiend to back him up there, but not going to be the case. Meanwhile, also top lane, oh, RMN actually gets a solo kill, but they're walking up the high gun. Ferev's got the follow-up. So once again, Carl, when he's enabled to play with the teammate, and this is scary because Dyer, they've created some stacks, but the boys on T1 should be able to scout this out. He's been listening into some of the criticism coming for him. He's saying like, oh yeah, the, the number five mid in C. He's like, no, no, no. I am uh, just as good as a lot of these other clans. Zephyr, nice arena still. It forces them to stay on top of the Rubik, so Carl can drop the ultimate on two, along with all the extra AoE damage for a last right click. Got a little bit too aggressive. Doesn't get the lucky shot proc, so I think he should be able to run away, although they're just going. Holy! Miracle's getting nothing out of this, dude. Carl is just a man on a mission to shut down the Shadow Fiend, and that they are doing. Miracle six deaths formulated and combined MVP style into them. He <laughs> gets it. I mean, Dai, I've got the numbers advantage, but Carl is godlike. I mean, it's 12 minutes in. He might be in trouble, but Wymont's in a really good spot. Spid Earth, Weeha sets it up. That's a big kill to give over to RMN. 598 gold. But the rest of T1, the they're coming over. White Mon just making space right now, but they haven't got there just yet. Frev, Swashbuckle actually misses it completely. Kuroki dropping the ultimate. Clears out all of the trees. Weeha's going to try and go for a solar kill on Zephyr. He actually steals a Serpent Ward. Zephyr is still in the arena. Now the Serpent Ward's this game. Ironman's in a great spot to be able to turn. Playing around with the trees. Drops the split earth. Invis up. Got a lot of mana to play with. Zephyr, but there's a sentry there in the area. Oh, that clips just on the tree line. The angle from Kuro on point. Frev, the last survivor. I mean, Carl, he's got a boot to travel. He's actually joining Frev and now Miracle. He, he maybe wanted a freebie, but the quick silence prevents the Requiem. Might still be able to get it off in the nick of time. Carl orbs back up. Miracle gets the Requiem. The nice face shift dodge. Carl's going to go up to the northern side. He's just everywhere and nowhere is Nigma. 
lacking the control right now. Forev? I mean, this fight's still going on. They will at least finally get the Pango. But Carla Wymon, Wymon died previously, and he's coming back. The Abaddon, an immobile hero, is going to join them. Meanwhile, RMN finds a solo kill on 23 Savage at the top side of the map. Action oh. on action, T1 Tau still up. So Nigma, they can TP down. Miracle, they get the speed. If they can bring down the Puck, he's such a high level. Puck, face shift, orb. Carl actually stands his ground, jumps towards Kuroki. If they got to cancel, they do. Zephyr, the spear stolen. Carl will claim it. 4,000 net worth lead for T1. I mean, it's, it's scary when T1 now have so much map to play with. Because it means White Mon can be pushed up so aggressive in a position where he can always protect the puck. Looking for a 5 on 5 fight. Forev. Nice clip. Finds Leshrak along with the Mars. They're a little bit away from the rest of the team. Kuroki. Well, he's going to be able to drop the ultimate, but there's no extra fall from Nigma. Nice bound the strike. Holds back Weehar and the Shaman, and they drop the call as well. Miracle clipped by the spear. Stuck inside the Wukong's command as they bring down a third. They can even potentially dive the less track if they want to, and Carl is going to offer to of do just he wants that. To. Why not? Carl has been all up in their face, even with the help of Rev finding a fourth target here. Oh, Radiant wanting to utilize this ward around the triangle. Man. Carl, level 15, just does so much damage, that extra spell M. Zephyr even stole the shackles, so he's using it from downtown. Double silence. Carl, I don't know if I've seen a performance so one-sided here from a position two. He's just... He's making me speechless right now. They're not playing with mind control. Oh, Weeha was playing the position five support. I mean, the mid lane didn't change. Like, that was a 1v1 beatdown that Carl delivered to Miracle. Radiant structures are fortified. And now Radiant, they want to walk up the higher ground. Savage has got the Aegis advantage. Let's see what Nigma are able to do. You've got to be careful if Leshrak just gets killed at the start of the fight before Nigma can answer with their own rebuttal. Coil drop, Surf Mords, nice mischief. Monkey's taking a lot of damage, but just look at the poke and prod that Radiant have. Able to bring down the Leshrak and Shaman without committing too heavily. And even Savage is protected with the Wukongs. Actually pushes him out with a blinding light, but yeah, gotta deal with those mass serpent wards. Guru. Oh, they found him in the tree line. Zephyr with the jump. He's protected for a little while with the glimmer, but it will not matter. Dire, they drop the detection, or will it? Could Kuroki. Savage actually going to think about jumping forward, but he's got to be careful. Shadow Fiend is not really going to be able to use that Yule's Requiem combo on the first life here of 23 Savage. Doing his best to try and push out the wave with that spirit form. He can uh, play Carl? a lot more. <laughs> Nice boundless man. Forever's got the follow-up as well. Has the blink in. Miracle protected with the glimmer, but they're still able to clap the back line as well as GH and Weeha falling. Buyback's coming out here from Nigma. They want to continue to hold this set of racks down, but Ranger Axe on take, two. Look at the health and mana pools on both teams. Basically full on everyone on Nigma's side. Still up in their face. I mean, when you got an Abaddon like that, they even denied the, the barracks there. Savage, Carl, nice initiation, just melts through the Shadow Fiend. Miracle, no opportunity to be able to get the combination off. Kuroki going to drop the arena. It does get stolen, though. They're going to be careful how this fight continues on, because Zephyr can drop that down, and he will do so. Three in closing in the Gladiators. Frev Spear pushed back, but the real issue is, is that Nigma losing all their heroes as Kuroki. Moonwalking back to base, they just turn their attention to GH and back to Mars as it's a team wipe and that should send him out of this game one as well. Then 19,000 gold down, one that was dodged by Puck, so it literally did nothing. Oh. Yes. Oh out. my god. Jeez, man, Carl is very deep though. They're doing it. They're doing this it. This is where They're you feed. Oh, can they at least get the Shaman to stop the Shackles? Nope. And they will, all right, T1. They want all the killers. If they're not going to call all it, as he's hiding in a little hiding hole, Forever joins him. And if they're not going to call it, they sure will force him to do so. Put them all in the grave. Forever gets the shard off. It looks like at least today, we're going to see both the teams that were undefeated yesterday find their first victory. As T1 will be able to close this one out. It will take him a bit as Nigma want to make him work for it inside the base. Iron Man. Gets brought down from the Dagon forever as well. <laughs> Kuroki just moonwalking away. 
Miracle might well, finally now with the BKB. Is it going to be... Oh, the mischief dodge, but they bump up against the arena. So two end up falling, but the boundless Savage. Nice for you. Meanwhile, Savage is like, oh, guys, come on. Let's just end this game. Like, someone hit the objectives, man. It's just me. It's even making them pop glyph. They're making them work for it. I mean, Nick, we're back live and Savage is going really deep. He'll try a TPR. They don't have the damage, man. How is he alive? Has he got boots of travel? No. No. But... Fuck TP'd all the way back as well, and I think they're just gonna let the creeps hit it. There it is. Ah. GG. Wii's gonna go down bot with Kuroki. Miracle's gonna play the Void Spirit in the mid lane. It's just a, a clown fiesta coming from game one to this. Yeah, it's, at least it's not getting uh, the remnants of what we saw in game one's landing stage. That was a bit of a mess, although Forever. Might see his remnants drop them down on the ground here. Ashes will fall. Even GH has the extra control. And they're going to be able to chase down Zephyr. He's got a little bit of extra health to play with thanks to the stick. But we, along with the help of Kuroki's bolt, will be able to find two kills down bot. Man, it might even be before like the 10 minute mark. They've still got the glyph available, but why not just put some pressure onto the map like this? They're going to find Carl though. Great use of the ward. They themselves have some very good vision as well, deep in the die jungle. So RMN utilizes that first lasso of the game. They get a nice pick off. And now kind of frees up Wee half a top as well to be able to take his own T1. But they're not done. Man, Phoenix, Zephyr might get caught out. Remnant just clips him before the dive. It's pretty decent, you know, having that extra point in the concussive shot. We have might be in trouble here. Carl's boundless so allows. And now Savage is chasing down RMN. Shapeshift, does he make it up? He does not. Savage has got the help of the Necrobox. And now mid lane, Phoenix needs the help. Miracle sets up for Kuroki's Mystic Flare. Yeah, they do. Well, that was a decent car. Carl is still sticking around. I mean, Dyer, they bring the reinforcements, but Carl's just going to get brought down. Too much damage. The army does not show up fast enough. In fact, they cancel the TPs. They're trying to put some of their own pressure on mid, but Radiant, they're going to be able to answer. RMN's already setting up. This tower's about to fall, and they don't have a glyph to protect it, but now with a rupture, Savage bounce back. Flame Break gets a little bit of extra pure damage with the rupture already on the like, and he can't do anything but to stand his ground. Frev does take up the Mystic Flare, but Savage will well, attempt the TP, but that is a bit ambitious, to say the least, as now Weeheart even sniffs more blood as well, Frev. So got the Heavenly Graze for the roll-up. GH doesn't able to utilize the stone, Forev, however, without the backup of the team, just a plotter Even that he Carl is. Do this. Carl? Oh, never mind that. Okay, maybe he will do it. I mean, he's got Zephyr nearby, White One as well. Sunray sealed Carl back up to full. He's able to. Li oh, oh, nice. Weeha. Okay, cute play. Is they going to let themselves be picked off? Because I feel like it's been the past four fights. That's oh, been RMN. The he's going to be able to find Carl down bot. Drag Good back spirit. to the Earth Spirit, and that is plenty of magic damage. Nice rotation. The setup there with RMN's Boots of Travels, the extra plus one factor of the Earth Spirit. And now they're looking to dive top, but they've got to be careful. T1, can they keep Forever alive long enough? No, they cannot. Rupture along with the Mystic Flare brings him down. But Dyer are well aware that a lot of heroes showed down, but they will not be able to punish that, however. And I mean, Savage might be picked off here. Yeah, I mean, Zephyr's going to be able to give him a little bit of extra help with the Sun Rays. Savage, however, tries to pop the ultimate. Do they have the damage to bring him down? They do. Miracle, with the help of RMN, is going to be able to claim that kill. They get the Flame Break bounce back. Carl's in trouble. That extra tick damage. Carl is not able to get the tree dance. They tip RMN. The Batrider vital there to be able to find the kill on the Monkey King. Man, that was a big misplay from Zephyr. He cancelled that uh, Sunray because he was afraid of him being gone on. I'm on? I mean, 23 Savage is your win condition. They are getting ran over now all of a sudden. Unable to take these fights as Lion. It's going to end up losing his life to the bolt. And GH with the rest of Nygma find another target behind the T2 tower. None of their heroes are tanky on Nygma. That's why I was like, uh, I mean, look at this. They're just able to dive in onto the backlines Back without any fear Phoenix. because there's no LC to duel them. That's a great target to be able to bring down, but he does have a buyback if he wants to rejoin them. Miracle's TP is going to get cancelled here. 23 Savage, too much damage. And they're even going to be able to find Weehar as well behind GH at least gets his life. Trying to close he it. He was one second away from that lasso. And meanwhile, mid lane though. Uh oh, Weehaw. He's popped his own BKB, but 23 Savage is able to just chase him down. 
Even though he's ruptured up on the lack and he doesn't care, man. Forever gives him a little bit of extra health to be able to work around with thanks to the purification. But the reinforcements from Nygma, they have shown up. Omni continuing to move on forward. They get the lasso on the Omni Knight. Spoo Vessel as well. Forever's... Oh no, just in the nick of time. The bell is cold. Beautifully done. The Finger of death that brings them all. Nygma lose three. This is even free AC. You're just relying entirely on the how, just for the uh, reduced armor coming through. They're going to be able to scatter it out with the uh, blood, right? I don't think they're going to be able to have their full complement of heroes. And even if they did, Link still Kyoki. No way! He, he did it. Oh, 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 okay. Was a mistake. <laughs> I mean, he ain't going to get out of this. Radiant coming over. Try to be the bodyguard with the blood, right? Carl ruptured up. Kyoki's just going to fall, but Carl now protected thanks to the ultimate. Turns with his own BKB. Doesn't have the Wukong command for another 10 seconds, but GH rolls in. He's not going to get burnt down to the Sun Ray. The rest of Radiant have to leave the Earth Spirit, but will be able to. They do so successfully. As we call Degen yeah, yeah. helping out for them. Forever will claim it. Three will fall, even though they got that cute Aegis still. Let's see if he's going to be able to continue to have a strong performance for Nigma. White Mon, nice counter nice initiation Whitemon. straight on top of the Batrider, but Carl's in trouble. Has to pop the BKB. The Rainbow TP is coming over. T1, they want an answer. But Radiant actually may be thinking about sending their ground. So that you get that wolf constantly pushing in the waves, putting a bit more pressure on the Radiant side of the map. <laughs> oh, poor White One. He TP'd to the outpost to a, a big surprise from Nygma. They want forever as well. GH just off on the roll. They're trying to connect onto the rest of Dia. If they can stand their ground, Zephyr's coming. Savage pops the ult, but now with the BKB, Zephyr. Tries to burn him down with the Sun Ray. Miracle's in trouble. The quick Orc. Look at the damage, Whoa. man. 23 Savage. Oh, my God. Lycan tears him apart. Two will fall. The rest of Nygma. Kuroki is going to run to the opposite side of the map. But at least he's got a blink. But Carl is able to find him in his little hidey holes. It's a triple for Savage. That full usage of the shapeshift. Yeah, like Nygma may have a, a play opportunity. Oh, White Moon. Nice jump into the TP follow-up. GH was trying to get cute with cutting the waves, but White Mon, he's up to five sacks now, the finger of death. It's going to force him back. So a couple of abilities from either side. As meanwhile, down bot though, Monkey King, they're going to be able to destroy the tree. And now RMN, Carl's going to turn. BKB along with the ultimate. Can he get the Jinku sacks coming through? And he does, Carl. Oh. oh, that's a lot of damage, man. He just shreds him down. White Mon's even got the control as well from RMN. So it was a cute attempt. But Cal returns the favor, getting straight on top of the Batrider. Providing the vision and nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. His bat will be the third death across the map here for Nygma. What do you do, Cole? Solar Crest, debuff, but he's got the Heavenly Grace, he's got the Lotus Orb. Try and slowly bring him down, but the issue is that Nygma kind of have to commit pretty heavily with a lasso or with the Mystic Flare to find that first life. Lights There's the Wolf Bite. It's more of a... Enabling Carl if he wants to go in and back out. Oh, that was a Lotus of Rupture as well. So they're going to get nothing out of this. Carl can reset. Blink forward. White one, nice counter. The perfect timing, man. White one. He's just so on point this game on the Lion. Finding the Bat Rider. He's got a buyback. Carl, daddy. he's coming in now. 23 Savage. The Daddy Lycan's going to follow up for the buybacks. Two going to get forced out here, but Carl is able to drop the Wukong's man, forces back the rest of Radiant, but they're not on top of the Wukong, so it's not going to do a whole lot right now. Nice, Earth back once again, Supernova in the middle of the fight. Nygma, they've got no answers. It's a dieback for the Earth Spirit. Two will fall. Miracle can't rejoin them as the Batrider. At least he's going to drag one back, trying to protect himself with the throne, but it's an ultra kill for Savage. Try and give him the Rampage. Let's see if they're able to do so. Stunned up. Weeha, can they? They can. Ravage Rampage for 23. It's kind of like the mascot for the team, you know? Miracle's up in three. Carl. Throne still up. Radiant. They don't have Glyph. Savage has got his own shapeshift now. Back with the wolf bite. It looks like the BKBs, they're just going to look to end it here. Maybe even get an extra couple of kills to buff up the scoreboard as T1. Well, this was a team coming into today. We're unable to...